welcome into the bunker of General Gridiron, Field Marshal of Football Forecasting. We're about to map out the way this college football weekend is going to go. Will your favorite team be marching to victory, or will the enemy be taking your battle flag? The finish line for college football is just around the bend, and some of the sports elite are jockeying for position as the leaves begin to fall. It's going to get real wacky during this home stretch of the schedule, so grab your helmet and man those battle stations. We're ready for another round of General Gridiron's football foretelling. Washington at Stanford. The number 15 dogs withstood a siege from South L.A. last weekend, and now they take the fight right to the Golden State for a little tussle with that supposed brainiac school by the bay. This Pac-12 North hoedown on the farm will let us know which one of these squads will have a chance when November rolls around and which unit will be flushing this season beneath the Golden Gate Bridge. The color got a big win in Corvallis last week, snapping a three-game skid, and the home team ought to have just enough color left in them to keep the W's a-coming this Saturday. The Generals' victor, Stanford. Iowa at Michigan. A top 20 feud in the big house. The undefeated cornfield craze flying birdies flock to Ann Arbor with one big old goal. Keep the scuttlebutt about Jimmy Harbaugh's future on the gossip page for at least for another week. Speaking of the printed press, did you know the state of Iowa acquired the Hawkeye nickname chiefly through the efforts of a newspaper editor in Fort Madison who proposed the nickname Hawkeyes in 1838 to rescue from oblivion the Sauk Indian leader Blackhawk. In 1843, this editor moved his newspaper, the Fort Madison Patriot, to Burlington and renamed it the Burlington Hawkeye in tribute to his friend Blackhawk. Well, ain't that nice. This weekend's football may not have as colorful or important backstory, but that newspaper editor would sure be happy to print this headline. The general says the Iowa Hawkeyes will be the victor. Georgia at Tennessee. Embattled Jeremy Pruitt announced this week he's not sure who the Big Orange will have under center for this one on top de Rocky. And Kirby Smart's boys from the Classic City ain't shaking in their silver britches that UT's got some kind of wonder kid that can pull the upset. Them dogs are sitting pretty in the pound at numero three, and with the hated Gators coming up soon and, oh, them rowdy roosters too, Georgia fans should need to load up on nerve pills this week for this one west of the Smokies. Glory, glory, the Vols are going to get another thumping in front of 100,000 plus. The Generals' victor, Georgia. Air Force at Navy. The flyboy leg of the Commander-in-Chief's trophy lifts off at Navy Marine Corps Stadium mid-afternoon this football Saturday. The top guns of Navy were shot down in Memphis last week, and they're ready to get past that battle and win the war. The high-flying Falcons of USAFA dropped a lot of ordnance on the Middies during their 2018 conflict in Colorado. Both teams want this one badly, and a win later against the current holders of the CIC trophy, them dad burn cadets from Army. The boys with that lightning bolt on their helmet will be stymied a bit by that seafaring triple option, and the bird will come crashing down. The General's victor anchors away Navy. Tulane at Army well, the Black Knights along the Hudson heard something about a Commander-in-Chief's trophy, and they've snapped to attention to steal a little thunder from those inferior service academies. <laughs> if option offense is your thing, this might be a Super Bowl of sorts inside Mikey Stadium. And in an odd twist, both TU Chief Willie Fritz and Army Field General Jeff Munkin have both been head coaches at Georgia Southern in the last decade, with the Green Wave guy taking over in Statesboro after Munkin's battlefield promotion up to West Point. These 2019 Big Easy boys are good, but not good enough to out-option USMA this day. The General's victor, get those caissons ready, Army. Ahead on General Gridiron, Houston's NRG Stadium hosts another Battle of the Piney Woods, the FCS's Sam Houston State Bearcats, and the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. And in the swamp, for the first time in eight years, Auburn and Florida meet, both unbeaten, both on a mission. Keep it here. General Gridiron will be right back. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Can we have a gun? Why do you ask that, kiddo? Howdy, soldiers. This is General Gridiron back with you. 
Each week, this fabulous football forecast is heard on some of the finest radio stations all over the good old U.S. of A., including WSKE FM 104.3, Cool Country 104.3, in Bedford, Pennsylvania. And in Hot Springs, Arkansas, KWPS FM 99.7, Fox Sports, Arkansas. We appreciate all of our radio affiliates. Now, let's get back into the football fight. Michigan State at Ohio State. Sorry, South. Urban got run out of the horseshoe, and we thought them Yankee nuts would quickly go back to the level of completely irrelevant. But great day. Ryan Day is doing about as good as you can do in Columbus, and that's bad news for all y'all, and the general too. With the crafty Kennesaw kid, Justin Fields, the nut fans are going nuts about their 2019 prospects. Southern sports talk shows are getting calls aplenty from galvanized OSU backers asking, how could UGA let him get away? In this contest against that other school up north, Mark D'Antonio's ancient Greeks will be asking, how can we get away? (laughs) Back to East Lansing. The Generals victor, Ohio State big. Sam Houston State versus Stephen F. Austin. The Battle of the Piney Woods. This is the second longest rivalry series in FCS football. This one goes down again inside Houston's massive NRG Stadium, but don't worry, the fans of these two East Texas relatively tiny colleges will fill up most of the NFL arena with shades of Bearcat Orange or Lumberjack Purple. SHSU comes into this year's contest on an eight-year win streak over the fellows from Nacogdoches. The Cats already have notched two Southland Conference victories, and QB Ty Brock looked nifty in the rally last week at McNeese State. The Felines will axe them jacks again, and that pretty replica pistols trophy will once again return to the giant Sam Houston statue shadow in Huntsville. The Generals victor, Sam Houston State. California at Oregon. Oski's been kicking his little bear self all week. The Cow Bears had climbed high in the poles, beat an SEC West school on the road down in Dixie, and then had a pesky but beatable Arizona State weaseling their way into California Memorial Stadium. I guess y'all know how that one worked out. Here we have the Berkeley Bunch and Eugene in a convocation of one lost Pac-12 North Pigskinners. The home team's favored. Surely Travis Dye running out of the pistol formation will do the Ducks a lot of good. But that Burley Bears defense will be foaming at the mouth and will make this Saturday evening game sneaky close. The Generals' victor, Cal in an upset. Pittsburgh at Duke. David Cutcliffe is looking like a genius these days. Not only did his QB from last year go early in the 2019 NFL Draft and has now led the New York football giants to consecutive wins in Durham, North Carolina, his Devils are spanking ACC Coastal foes in their own house, see Lane Stadium last Friday night. Quentin Harris has stepped in for Daniel Jones, and he's getting it done for Duke with his arm and legs. The fight in Narduzzi's arrive at Wallace Wade, optimistic another UCF-type upset awaits. Sorry, Steel City, this Saturday night showdown is just going to shake out for the Cameron uh, cut cliff crazies. The Generals' victor, Duke. Auburn at Florida. This pair of SEC superpowers have met on the gridiron 83 times, and the Alabama Ag School holds a slight 43-38 and two ties edge over the boys from old Florida. Great games through the years include UF's 1962 upset of number 10 Auburn, the 1976 Attack of the War Eagle, and Auburn's 1994 win over number one Florida and the head ball coach. Sadly, SEC expansion has diminished this series. They last met in 2011. And Auburn, Alabama is the closest SEC town to Gainesville, Florida. This Saturday's Top 10 Swamp Showdown will be an instant classic. Bo Nix is going to give the Partisans in orange and blue jorts fits. And he'll also give them their first loss of the year. The Generals' victor, Auburn. We've already looked at the weekend's biggest battles across the nation. But hang on to your helmet. There's more around the corner. We'll be back in a moment to wrap up this week's General Gridiron with our Rapid Fire Picks. I was living in a shelter juggling three jobs. I had to be resilient. That's something that you can't teach. This is General Gridiron back with you. 
we've already maneuvered through this weekend's Frontline College Football Showdowns. Now, it's time to fix bayonets and storm the field with our rapid-fire football forecast. Texas bites down on West Virginia. Oklahoma State lassos Texas Tech. LSU survives against Utah State. Oklahoma all day at Kansas. Penn State pelts Purdue. UAB rebounds against Rice. TCU takes out Iowa State. Louisville beats Boston College. Kansas State comes back versus Baylor. The Citadel wins the Military Classic of the South versus VMI. Boise State bamboozles UNLV. Vanderbilt gets two in a row at Mississippi. Miami mauls Virginia Tech. UCLA steps on Oregon State. Minnesota in a close one against Illinois. Memphis destroys Louisiana Monroe. Nebraska nukes Northwestern. North Carolina continues Georgia Tech's agony. Missouri beats their big bass drum right on top of Troy's head. And Colorado stampedes Arizona. Well, troops, you can now put your swords back in their scabbards. We're all out of picks on this sixth weekend of college football edition of General Gridiron. We'll be back again next week. Same General Gridiron time, same General Gridiron station. So please don't forget to tune us in on the radio, Facebook, YouTube TV, or simply download the Y'all Show free on iTunes podcast. And don't forget to tell your friends all about the show. Just search for General Gridiron. This is John Rawl, the General of Gridiron Glory, thanking you for letting me be a part of your weekend celebration. General Gridiron is a production of Y'all. For more, log on to y'all.com, the ultimate guide to the South. That'll be all, y'all.